morning. <clears throat> it is like quarter to six in the morning. Started off the day not great. Um, slumbering away, and then I heard this, go fuck yourself. Like, quite loudly and quite adamantly. And I'm just like, okay. I have no idea what that's about. Well, of course, after a while, I start, you know, the brains all start working. And I mean, then I figure out that probably it was directed at me at my tent. This is how I left things yesterday, right? That tree. I mean, that tree was falling up there. I know it's green, but I didn't chop it. It was down. And someone decided to jump to the conclusion that I've been chopping trees. So that was before 5 a.m. So somebody was out of bed, packed up all their stuff, and probably left from Mystic Junction and had already hiked, I don't know, seven kilometers at like 4.45 in the morning. Like... I can't even imagine that. That's insanity. Uh, and jumped to a lot of conclusions. And then decided to yell randomly at a tent. Anyway. So I decided I better get up and come check on my food. But uh, everything looks fine. At least all they decided was to yell after jumping to one conclusion after the next. And they didn't decide to uh, mess up my food. I tell you, I... People, uh, when I say that I go out into the, into, the, into the middle of nowhere, I hear bears. Oh, what about bears? People are the worst. <laughs> People are... Oh, my God. Sometimes they behave... Mostly they're so nice. You know, especially backpackers, but yeah, people are more people are more unpredictable than any bear is ever going to be. All right, well, I'm awake. Now what? Well, I'm awake. I don't think I'll be getting back to sleep. I also take advantage of the early wake up, right? I mean, that person did me a favor in that sense. There's no mosquitoes. It's kind of cold, but you know, I get some, uh, I get some oatmeal in me, and I'll feel better. I do like the wood chips that they put on here. You can see it didn't rain that much last night, but you can see the drainage. I mean, the water doesn't just can't pool here, right? Well, that's pretty cool. This little meadow is where you come and drink your coffee for sure, man. Oh, you can still see it's pretty early morning. What a shot that is though. Another backpack, baby. Oh. Oh yeah. There's definitely some new aches and pains in my uh my legs. You know, I'm wearing trail runners now, right? <clears throat> I switched from my giant scarpa boots. But I had a look at the timestamps on my videos yesterday and I did seven kilometers in an hour and 45 minutes. Four kilometers an hour is fast for me. I have pretty much never done that. So I mean, these shoes, I'm walking really fast, but I gotta watch it, man. That <laughs> I gotta like scale myself back. I guess that's good, right? But, you know, I mean, the big boots were kind of a way of, they had the way of keeping me going nice and slow, right? I had to carefully move my feet because those things, 
Yeah. Well, <clears throat> got her all done. My first night in a popular one in Luxury National Park. Man, I, <laughs> I forget how nice Banff National Park is when you get into that. I mean, this is almost front country. I mean, right? How much nicer does it get? It's 8 a.m. I don't remember the last time I ever got going at 8 a.m. There's nothing like someone yelling at you at 4.45 in the morning to get you going. And coincidentally, I have a 20-kilometer day, so... Yeah, you know, actually that works out pretty well. Well, go down the trail literally 30 seconds and you got this very picturesque shot. Nice. This trail must have been an old road. Like I don't see why it would be this wide. And it is in such great shape that I don't even have my uh, rain pants on, even though there's water and everything coming across. I mean, normally that'd be rain pants. Otherwise my pants would be soaked in 20 minutes, but I don't have to. This is so nice, All right? Nice, it's opened up a little bit, at least for now. This is the second beaver dam I've seen on 40 Mile Creek, so be careful about taking water out of there without treating it, you know? Jarda is not called beaver beaver for nothing. Well, much of the time you're in trees, but Every so often you get a little something. All right, let's go over here. Oh. Is that for when this is too muddy or maybe that's for the horses? Not bad at all. The book actually talks about mud holes, but this is the first one I've seen at all. So that's not bad considering I'm, what, 10, 11 kilometers up the trail now. All right, bit of a rock off. In the old days, I just went ripping through this, but well, I have new footwear now, all right? That uh, if I go ripping through this without being careful, my feet are wet. Well, here's the old road trail across up there. I think this is supposed to indicate some kind of block. Interesting thing is I can see uh, some cuts down there. The trail I came from is up there. Well, it was fine walking on the rocks with these. You know, the nice thing is they're new shoes, so they got grip. I mean, of course, I'm comparing them to my Scarpas that have over a thousand kilometers on them. But uh, yeah, it is nice having grip again. This is a big avalanche slope here. Could you imagine something coming down this and smashing a path this wide? It's like 100 meters. That would be crazy. Okay, well. I gotta find out what it's like to have these trail runners. I mean, this this is good, right? I wanted a test. Got past this one too. Still managed to keep my feet dry. Well, I found an intersection I've been looking for. On the map, it says uh, Werner's Horse Camp, Mystic, and I figured out that it is for uh, outfitters. Oh, me being the guy that likes to check out everything, I'm going to go down and check it out. Besides, I could use a break. Well, there's actually an old beat-up bridge. And even a sign. 
Welcome to Mystic Camp. Gotta say, I did not expect a horse corral, but it makes perfect sense. Your old horse outfitter. Why would you not make yourself a horse corral out here? Oh man, I got my, my feet are completely soaked now just from walking, walking down here. Oh, there's a fresh, it's a holster for, uh, well, maybe for a hammer. Because there's a hammer. Hmm. This does not seem used. I mean, the horse is supposed to keep this trim. Hombre and horse hacienda. This sure got some love once upon a time, but man. Whole bunch of platforms. I got the idea that these were permanent tent camps, so clearly uh, no one's been here this year. There's like seven or eight of these, so clearly this, uh, yeah, clearly this was a thriving thing. Maybe, uh, maybe because still COVID, you know? I don't know. During COVID, I'm sure nothing happened in here. There's a lot of work put into this. I'm definitely finding a lot more than I thought I would. This is uh, like eating hangout area. All right, like this thing here was probably a mess tent. What's this? Anything in here? Uh, nothing alive, jump out. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> oh, we know what this hole was for. At least I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh man, it just keeps coming. Oh, jeez. There's barrels suspended up. I have to think they're empty. You don't have to be a genius to figure out what this is for. If I can get it off, there we go. Come get it. Dinner is served. I don't think that's it for me walking around in here. I like the sign on the way out to Happy Trails. I sure hope they get this going again, you know? It looks like it was quite a camp. And if they don't, I mean, you know what's going to happen. It's all going to get left. You would need like a horse trip with like 25 horses to get everything out of here that's not supposed to be here and just leave the wood, right? But it would give people something to come and find and check out for, you know, decades to come. That's for sure. Well, when I figured out what this was, like on the map, I found it on, uh, <clears throat> yeah, like I, I found it on the map. I actually found it on the back saying that there are horse trips. So if you actually were interested in this, you could look that up. It is on the Mount Assiniboine Banff map. Um, but maybe they're not running anymore, right? Because you don't have to do things the hard way like me. You can just have somebody take care of your ass and you can ride a horse down to this. All right, I'm back out. Hey, I encourage anyone that can't backpack or just doesn't want to use horse outfitters, man. The money stays right here. In, uh, you know, I mean, it's locally owned business. They use the money to keep their horses going, to keep the ranches going, and uh, to keep alive a way of life that is long past in a lot of ways, right? Horse packing trips. So 
absolutely do it for sure. Well, about two minutes back there is where I went down. Here's another one that's actually, it's actually marked. Okay then. Oh, starting to anticipate. This is the valley I'm going up. I'm almost at the junction. I wish they would just use words like normal people. I mean, really, codes. Looks like I, I want to go out of my way a little bit to go and check out this uh, Mystic Junction campground. So I'm going to go do that. Hopefully that's not too far over here. 100 meters, 200 meters. Boy, if only there was a sign that actually had that information. Well, I regret my decision. Not only is the trail like uphill, Rudy, it's actually got me a little bit wet because now it's no longer a road and it's like four or 500 meters away from the intersection, like basically out of the way. But I'm getting a sense of what the uh, Sab Sabak Ridge Circuit Trail looks like. Oh, more of hell, jeez. This wasn't worth it, but I'm in now. I've, and I'm more than halfway there. It's gotta be at least four or 500 meters off that intersection. So I'm adding a kilometer onto an already long day. Well, another five spots and looks empty. Even on this Sawback Ridge Circuit Trail, there is an outhouse. They look like brand new too. I got the sense there's two thing, two ways I could do this, right? I could go up that way or I could go back up to the the main trail and take that route back. Hmm. My God. So nice. This is like 100 meters from the tents. You are safe cooking over here, us for damn sure. That's a nice little view from this guy. Eating area is just over there. That's pretty cool. Well, people were definitely here. You can see the tent outline perfectly. Besides, I couldn't get a spot here to save my life. I tried. Next one too. Must be going that way. And well, maybe one of them is the gentleman who communicated with me. So evenly this morning. Oh, lots of things chopped up over here. There's a lot going on in this campground. So there's the main trail up there. There's, you can cross this bridge and there's a spur trail going and joining up with the Sawback Trail going that way. Over here, there's another trail that keeps going that way. That's the equestrian trail. That carries on up 40 mile. So there's trails coming in and out of this thing, left, right, and center. I'm gonna take the spur. And when I get down there, I might just backtrack the 200 meters just to check it out. The big thing is I don't wanna miss the cabin, all right? But I'm also a total trail junkie and I don't wanna miss any of the Sawback Trail. Well, I kinda of thought it might. The spur trail is taken care of, you know, it's been cut and it comes down right into the back of the cabin. I'm already starting to see it. Oh, you actually cross the trail first. I'm not wanting to pass a cabin. Even if I've already seen it before, I'll come check it out again. Aside from the fact that I want to see all the cabins. So this guy is definitely not being used at this moment. Always a great view. 
Mystic Lake Cabin number 21. I've seen that with some Banff National Park cabins. They will number them. There's the cabin. Here's the second bridge. Going over 40 mile. And remember this from yesterday? I went back yesterday and looked at the video and realized that actually I can go to Mystic Lake. It's just that nobody can fish or swim or whatever. And of course that includes the confluence. Oh yeah, there's the two creeks coming together here. Cool. Alrighty, saw the cabin over there. That was the second bridge over 40 Mile Creek. It's good enough for me. I mean, I'll come back and see this cabin again when I do a sawback range circuit, which will cover whatever little snippet of trail I didn't see. 2.6 kilometers until Mystic Valley campground. So I'll also see you in this little stretch. And then there's a Mystic Lake. And then I start climbing. I start heading up to uh, Mystic Pass. So kind of exciting the next seven, eight kilometers. One no more nice road. It's down to single track, Rocky Rudy. And the first 15 kilometers was playtime. Well, it finally ran into some people, a group of five. I thought this was going to be like the social trail, but not that much so far. Tonight at Larry's camp, I know that it's full. So I will have company. There's no doubt about that. First thing that happens on this trail is you climb. I mean, look how high above uh, Mystic Creek we are. Nice. I like this one. The nice thing about that climb is you don't lose it. So, you know, the creek is coming up to meet us, right? I mean, here it's going downhill a touch, but once you do that climb, you're, you know, you got it. Okay. Luxury National Park continues. Well, can't say I mind. I'm definitely looking forward to, I get to see this the whole way. This is pretty sweet. That's nice. First time out. I mean, maybe I put it on wrong, but this is already gone. <laughs> Deposited on the trail. Oh, well, I'm not even entirely sure what these are for anyway. Stick them in the moss and they just keep going. You know, you don't deal with moss that often. I'm not really sure where the rest of this campground is. Walked down here for a minute or two and didn't find anything. So eventually just got annoyed and turned around. Maybe it's across the bridge. You got trails and trails up here. This thing is facing the wilderness so that the animals can read it. Okay, here's where I was. The reason mostly I care is because I want to use the bathroom. It's kind of interesting, there's two creeks. The one I just crossed over here, imagine they go down here and join up. That's quite the view from the tenting area. Oh, that one's nice. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Next thing to figure out is the lake. It'll be a side trail and then a half kilometer walk there. And of course, a half kilometer walk back. 
All right, now we cross this guy. Oh, the Canadian Rockies Trail guy can be. <laughs> you leave uh, Mystic Valley Campground, and in just a few minutes, you come to an intersection. Well, I've been climbing for a little while. It's 500 meters, and it's climb. It is not just a few minutes. All right, finally. I encountered some people here. Uh, not the whole group, but there's a group of 11 that are going and staying at Larry's camp. So I met some of my campmates for tonight. I'm still a kilometer behind them though, because half a kilometer up to the lake, half a kilometer back. Well, it appears I need to cross this. There's the trail. They haven't taken care of this uh, spur trail the way they have everything else. That's for sure. I guess you can go a little farther down, but then you sink. Yeah, there's a few little sticks here, so. Gotta make sure I don't slip off that. <laughs> well, I did it, but I got maybe a little water in my the bottom of my shoes and it was dicey. <laughs> All right, moving on. Oh my, it is difficult to be in an alpine lake. Mountains around it. Oh. Sweet. Well, no surprises. There's a little spur trail alongside the lake. See how far she goes. All right, there's a bit of a Y. This goes up and then keeps going up. There's a bunch of stuff across it. I don't think I care for that too much. I'm gonna try the other one, which just seems to go down to the lake shore. Well, the trail dust does fine. Then it seems to end here and I don't really feel like bushwhacking, so this is fine with me. Oh, you can see, now you can get a good look at that, the stream that feeds it. Except it refuses to zoom in, there we go. Here's what you come to when you go the other way. The outlet. A lot of big logs, that's for sure. Someone put a nice one here to sit on. Might as well. All right, head on back. Start making forward progress up the trail again. That time I slipped off and got a shoe in. Ugh. Oh well. All right. <clears throat> going up a pass with my little extras, going to see uh, the campground, going to see the lake, which I mean, come on, the lake for sure is, you have to do that. With those little extras, I'm probably at about 12 kilometers right now. And now I'm going to go do a pass. I mean, <laughs> this is not how you design a backpack, but I mean, it is my hardest day. Easily my hardest day. Now you cross again. You can't get anything built in Jasper National Park. Here you got all kinds of stuff. I'm cook climb. I wonder when this pass is going to reveal itself. I mean, sometimes they don't until God knows, right? You're only kind of guessing at what the pass, where it even is. 
Okay. Way across is a way across. Doesn't need to be nothing fancy. Well, it's hard work, of course, but I'm at 2,130 meters. About 150 meters to climb. I don't know if it's my phone, the GPS on it, or what, but the trail that shows on all trails and on maps me is like up here. And then I think I'm gonna go join with it. And it just goes straight. So maybe, maybe there's an old trail that they redesigned after 2013 floods or who knows. Anyway, or maybe the phone GPS is just off. Down there, the track from all trails and on the app maps, like I use maps me, joins up with this and there's absolutely no sign whatsoever. Just ignore it. The Mystic Pass trail is very obvious with tons of trail work on it. It's perfectly cleared. Never mind what's on all trails in this case. Well, this is been like this for last little bit. You climb up a steep ridge and then you get to walk on top of the ridge for a bit. I just encountered two ladies and they told me there's more steep stuff coming. So, phew. <sighs> when do you break out? That's when I want to stop. I need a, a break, but I want the view. And I think it's just up there. Well, good enough. And I think I'm starting to make out an objective over there. Well, maybe. But on top of this thing, I could see a few things standing up. People, signs, but can't be sure. Whatever, I've made great time in the last, yeah, this nice straight part has been, phew, excellent. That's classic. This is literally 10 meters after I stopped. <laughs> oh my. What do we got here, huh? What do we have here? Oh, it's a sheer wall. Oh. oh, sweet. Very cool. Okay. This would be the pass. You can see those people walking down that. Mm, is that it or is this a false summit? Who knows? I don't see any park sign up there, so. Find out soon enough. It's so beautiful in here. Well, that is hysterical. I just ran into a YouTube buddy, you know, he has his own channel, we have talked, chatted, we're, yeah. I just ran into him on trail, it's, it is so funny, it is so funny, like so specific, I don't, I don't have that many YouTube friends, right, I've got three or four guys I've talked to, that's, that's hilarious. My God, it just brightens me right up. Pretty outstanding, man. All right, I think it's just up there. Mystic Pass. Here's the way down. This is going to be beautiful. Mm. 
Okay, my second pass of the year. My first pass on this backpack and I got two left. Sweet. Well, beautiful, just like most passes, but this one sure doesn't last very long. You're in, you're out. Some passes are amazing, you know. You walk up to them for two kilometers, go through the pass, and then you walk out of them for two kilometers. You know, open. Every pass has its own little uh, personality, so. Look too soon, this is still nice and open, you know? This is an amazing view right here, like, sheesh. This is also quite nice. This hill over here looks like a ski hill. There's so many avalanche chutes on it, but there is no ski hill there, that's for sure. But for a minute, I had to think, it's like, is that Lake Louise? Like, what the hell? That is quite the bowl, quite the shot. Beautiful. What goes up must come down, down, down. Nice and easy. Isn't this nice? You gotta come down off the trail a little bit to uh, get this view. I came across like this. But uh, yeah, as the book puts it, uh, a lazy waterfall. Well, it has finally settled down, but boy, for quite a while, it is steep going up Mystic Pass from this side. So just keep that in mind. I think it might be easier from the other side for sure. There's a bit more of a, a sneak up on it from the other side. I always like when the forests have these weeds They make it quite pretty. This thing, it just wants to go. <sighs> More gorgeous views. That one's really nice. Well, I got some cave action in here. I think it's more scenic in this direction. Didn't even realize it was yet another bridge. Ah, almost got this beat, I think. Well, I'm glad I got an eight o'clock start, eight in the morning, because between the pass and all the stuff that I checked out along the way, I have been at this almost 10 hours. So, yeah. Man, I'm tired. Even after all the backpacking I've done, 20 kilometer days, especially ones with a pass, they do me in. I'm, I'm very ready to be finished. 
another one. These bridges are very unimaginative. I mean, they look like they're from a haircut chart and somebody was like, okay, number three bridge. Let's put number three bridge all through this thing. But it's, they're very strong, right? Well, if they work, it's better than crossing that and getting my, having to change my shoes or get my feet wet or whatever. All right. Looks like I'm here. I just need to go and cross this bridge. Oh yeah, there's people walking around up there. Yep, I'm here. All righty, Larry's camp. And do people lose things easily, my God. totally social hour here there's a family of 11 here that's kind of inspiring that's a lot of people to organize out of a backpack met some germans met uh, a lady with her dog dog very friendly and uh yeah and the family even gave me like some chocolate and a little bit of port and that's nice <laughs> anyway Tomorrow off to uh, Badger Pass, Blue Allen Lake. It's my only day on this whole thing without a pass. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm, not I'm going to Badger Pass Junction campground. Anyway, good night.